Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Jen again, and welcome to my channel. Ngayon, pag-aaralan natin on how to compute binary in Tagalog version. So, ang pag-compute ng binary ay may dalawang ways. Una, yung subtraction. Ibig sabihin nun, decimal to binary numbers. Yung addition naman, binary numbers to decimal numbers. I-define muna natin yung binary ito yung language ng computer. So, kasi tayo may human language tayo, syempre yung computer, may computer language din sila. Ito yun nga yung binary. Kasi yung binary, kaya siya sinawag na by dalawa, dalawang numbers lang yung nare-represents niya. Yung 0 and 1 lang. Yung 1, ibig sabihin nun, on. And yung other one is off. Byte is the basic unit of information in computer storage and processing. Ibig sabihin, kapag yung isang byte ay meron siyang 8 digits or yun naman yung tinatawag nating bit. So, ibig sabihin, si 0 and 1 ay bit. Tapos, yung 8 na compose nun, dapat laging 8, lagi siya, is ibig sabihin nun ay isang buong byte. So, let's start computing. Lagi natin tatandaan na si binary ay meron ngang 8 digits. So, sila si 1, tapos yung doblehin mo yung 1, 2. Pag dinoble mo yung 2, 4. Dinoble ang 4, 8. Dinoble ang 8 ay 16. Dinoble ang 16 ay 32. Dinoble ang 32 ay 64. At pag dinoble natin ng 64, ay meron tayong 128. So, lagi na natin itong i-memorize itong pagkakasunod-sunod na ito na 8 digits. So, lagi natin tatandaan na itong 8 bits na ito is equivalent to 1 byte. Ibig sabihin nun, isang letter lang to o isang number kapag binasa ni computer. Kaya dapat tayo memorize natin itong walong pagkakasunod-sunod na ito. So, let's say we have 78 as decimal number. So, i-co-compute natin ito kung ano yung kanyang binary number. So, dito, among these numbers, ano yung number na merong less than 78? So, yes, the 64. So, i-minus natin yan. So, 78 minus 64 is equal to, yan, i-co-compute natin. It's equal to... 14. So, itong 14 naman, isip ulit tayo, ano yung pinakamababang number niya dito sa numbers na ito? Siyempre, very good. And I see 8. So, ilagay natin, 14 minus 8. So, 14 minus 8 is equal to 6. Then, 6, ano yung less na number dito ng 6? Siyempre, si 4. Then, i-minus natin si 4. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Tapos, wala na siyang less than, kapantay niya na lang, ay si 2. So, 2 minus 2 is equals to 0. Okay, tatanda natin ha, dapat laging mag-end din siya, it's either 2, 0, or 2, 1. Yan, laging yan lang yung kayang basahin ni computer, si 0 at si 1 lang. So, let's translate. Ano yung binaries niya? So, since itong mga ito yung nakabox and ibig sabihin yan, on siya. Tapos yung mga hindi nakabox, off. So, represent natin si on and off as 1 and 0. So, si 0, automatic siya si off. Tapos yung on, pa ay siya naman si 1. So, parang lights lang yan. On and off. Kapag naka-on, walang light. Ay, may light. Kapag naka-off, may ay walang light. So, ayan. Equivalent na natin siya. So, si 1, wala siyang box. So, 0 siya. Si 2 meron. So, 1. Si 4 meron. So, 1. 8 meron. 1. 16, wala, 0. 32, wala, 0. 64, meron. 1. And then, 1, 2, 8 is wala. So, 0 siya. So, ang kanyang binary number ng 78 is 
another one and zero so dapat lagi niyo check kung eight digits ba yan one two three four five six seven eight so kung yung yan ay merong eight bits ayan ay correct or tamang format so ibig sabihin itong 8 bits nito yan lahat is equivalent naman siya into 1 byte yung 1 byte na yan, ano lang siya yun yung isang um, decimal number lang siya which is 7 so, ngayon naman na gagawin natin is i-compute naman natin yung binary to decimal. So, since dahil ito ay baliktad naman, baliktad rin yung operations natin. Ito na ay magiging addition. So, let's have 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So, check ulit natin kung yan ay merong 8 digits. So, question mark tayo dyan. Ano yung decimal number niya? Ayan, di na lang kasi mahirap magsulat. Okay. So, ayan. Equivalent niyan si 128. 128 yan ha. Hindi 28. 32, 16, 8. Ayan. Mm -hmm. And, ayan. Okay. So, ayan, ilagay na natin siya. I-format natin siya. Since 0 siya, hindi natin kukunin si 128. Since 0, this is 64. Wala din. So, kukunin natin si 32. Kasi yun siya yung may 1. Ayan. So, 32. Plus, oh, yung si 16, meron din. So, lagay natin dyan ng 16. 32 plus 16 is equal to... Okay, that is 48. Okay, that's 48 plus, so walang 8, 0, walang 4, 0, meron yung 2. So, 48 plus 2 is equals to 50. So, 50 Yan ang equivalent value ng binary number na yan. So, ang decimal na 0011010 is 50. Yan. So, let's have another examples. So, again, memorize ulit natin si 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8. So, let's say we have decimal number 1, 1, 6. Let's have or let's compute its binary. So, easy po tayo nung less than 166. Of course, that is 64. So, 166 minus, I mean, 1, 1 is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. That's the binary of 1, 1, 6. 1, 6 minus 64 is equal to 52. Okay, 52. 52, think of a number less than 52. Of course, that is 32. So, 54 minus 32 is... Oh, let's compute. It's equal to twenty. Okay, next twenty less than twenty here is sixteen. So twenty minus sixteen is yes, very good. That is four. So sixteen minus four. I mean, yeah is zero so the binary number of one one six is one 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 eight i mean sorry zero four is one and zero zero is zero 
11101100. That's the binary of 116. Okay, now let's compute the decimal number of 01011110. Okay, so let's have here. So same chart. Parehong chart pa rin. The Parehong chart lang yung gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng decimal number na 011110. So, let's have 128 as 0. So, wala siya. Yung 1, so yun ang meron niya. 64. So, 64 plus 0 yung 32. So, hindi yan ang i-add mo. So, active yung 16. So, 64 plus 16. So, we have 80. So, 80. 80 plus, then 1 for 8 is active. So, plus 8. 80 plus 8 is 88. 88 plus Okay, 4 is active for 1. So, 88 plus 4 is equals to 92. Okay, so 1 for 2 is active. 92 plus 2 is 94. So, nagtali tayo dun kanina. Yung pagkuha natin ng binary na 94 is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, ngayon, kinuha natin ito, binaligtad natin, kinuha natin yung decimal niya, we got 94. So, tama yung ating computation kanina. So, that's it. I hope may natutunan kayo. Bye, guys!